Mazda has uh, been using direct injection. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ford is partnered with Mazda in some things, but they use EcoBoost, which is a turbocharger. Could you see the two of those being put together in a car? Uh, first and foremost, the, the Ford Mazda relationship is very strong. Mm -hmm. You know, Ford is still our largest shareholder, even though the equity change took place last year. Uh, and we've got very, very good alliances in a whole host of areas. And right now, uh, with our engine technology, which you heard a little bit about in Tokyo, Sky G and Sky D is the next generation. Obviously, we're going to be introducing a whole host of new drivetrains and powertrains that continue to make Mazda zoom zoom. I think we've got a very robust powertrain and uh, environmental strategy going forward for Mazda. But you don't see yourself bringing in their EcoBoost turbocharger well, as well as a direct injection. Well, as you know, we don't talk about future product plan. Jim, when will you have a hybrid in the United States? Well, if you, if you go back and, and hear what we talked about in Tokyo, mm -hmm. um, you know, right now um, our focus is primarily on the 30% fuel economy improvement that we plan on having relative to our, our overall fleet globally over the next several years, 30% fuel economy improvement. Now again, as you know, hybrids right now are a very small portion of the market. Right. Uh, but that 30% improvement, though, is going to happen across the entire range. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have uh, gasoline technology vehicles that would deliver diesel fuel economy, diesel fuel economy that will equal hybrids. And we think right now that's our priority and our focus. The other thing, too, is that what we're trying to do for the Mazda customer is to provide those fuel efficiencies across the range. Mm -hmm. If you do an electric vehicle, it's just that one specific car, correct? Right. Right. But what we're trying to do from CX-9 now all the way through to Mazda 2 is provide a 30% fuel economy improvement. We do have some things that we're working on that we can't talk about today, but we are looking at what's happening relative to electric and hybrids. That's kind of in a distant plan. But right now, fuel economy improvements primarily in gasoline, fuel economy improvements on diesel, sky drive, fuel economy improvements in drivetrain, taking weight out of vehicles, obviously, improving drive dynamics, but still be zoom zoom. Will that make you CAFE compliant then? Yes, we don't have any issues at this point. I mean, you are a global company. Which one of the vehicles do you have in some other part of the world that you would love to have in the United States? Well, basically, Mazda 2 um, now provides the bookend. Mm -hmm. You know, our priority was to launch the new 3, launch CX-7, launch CX-9 when we did, launch the all-new Mazda 6, which has now been out only about 12 months, and now to bookend that, we refresh the line in the last 12 months. I mean, think about it, in, in just 12 months since this recession, Launch the new 3, refresh CX-7, refresh CX-9, still launch the new Mazda 6. Now what we're bookending with is Mazda 2, which we're announcing today. That is a, a very big desirable want for, obviously, the market here for our customers, but more importantly for our dealers, because it now aligns the range that we can go from Mazda 2 all the way to CX-9. Right. And now we're filling that last piece on the bookshelf. And where is Mazda 2 right now globally? Mazda 2 has been in the market for several years. Uh, by the way, it won Car of the Year 2008 in New York. It's won 50 global awards. It's been on sale in Europe now for quite some time. Mm -hmm. It's been on sale in the ASEAN regions, and it's been on sale in uh, China and, in, and also in Japan. Oh, yeah. So uh, obviously we're bringing it to North America. The vehicle that we're introducing here today is even the refresh model than the current one that's being sold over the other markets. So everyone's going to look at this globally. Yes, this will be obviously a global reveal of the new Mazda 2, the 2011 kind of next generation. Is the U.S. market as significant as it was five years ago? Absolutely. It still is. Uh, yeah. It still is. I mean, if you look at the overall market here in the United States, it's, you know, obviously we're going through a little bit of a retraction in history, but everything is. Everyone is. Right. And the, the North American market is still a priority for Mazda, and I still think it's a big priority for all the auto manufacturers.